Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William have held secret talks with A-list film director Richard Curtis over a brand new mental health project. Kate, 37 and William, 37, have been keen mental health campaigners and launched their Heads Together initiative in 2016. The project aims to change the conversation and tackle the stigma attached to people suffering from mental health related illnesses. It is understood the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are contributing to a new project Mr. Curtis is working on, but details are yet to be announced. Mr. Curtis, 62, is one of Britain's most successful screenwriters. The 62-year-old is responsible for a series of iconic films including Four Weddings and a Funeral, Notting Hill, Bridget Jones' Diary, Mr. Bean, Love, Actually and The Boat That Rocked. The British screenwriter also has a considerable track record when it comes to charities and is the co-founder and vice-chair of Comic Relief. Mr. Curtis has co-produced Red Nose Day for the BBC since 1988. The charity has raised over £1 billion for projects in Africa and the UK during that time. In 2017, Mr. Curtis opened up on his family's personal battle with mental health following his sister's suicide. Mr. Curtis told a Public Health England conference, I was so privileged and we had so much money and so much access and still couldn't do anything. I can't believe what it must be like for someone whose relatives aren't in that situation and they have nothing. Through the Heads Together project, Kate and William have teamed up with a string of organization to raise awareness. The Royals have rolled out the Mentally Healthy Schools initiative in order to improve the quality and availability of education about mental health. The Mental Health at Work Gateway has been launched to help everyone in the workplace prioritize mental well-being. Kate and William have also team up with the MOD, to improve the mental health of current and former armed forces personnel, with a focus on the message that mental fitness is as important as physical fitness. According to the organization mental health is estimated to cost UK businesses £35 billion annually. It is also the leading cause of sickness absence in the UK, with 127 million hours of work lost in 2015 due to mental health related absence. On Tuesday, Kate visited the RHS Garden Wisley in Surrey for her Back to Nature Play Garden. The Duchess of Cambridge spoke about the benefits of playing in the outdoors. Kate said, I am not as green-fingered as many of you here, but I was passionate about creating a garden that inspired children and adults alike to get back to nature and reap the positive mental and physical health benefits that it can bring. The experiences we gain during our earliest years influence who we become as people. The Duchess of Cambridge had a sit-down with the director of Love Actually, Richard Curtis, to discuss a new mental health project on Wednesday. While she and her husband, Prince William, are well known for their own mental health initiative, the Heads Together campaign, it is understood that the royal pair will be contributing to one of Richard's projects. While the details have yet to be revealed, the director, who also directed Four Weddings and a Funeral and About Time, spent time with Kate at Kensington Palace to discuss the idea. Mental health is an issue close to Richard's heart, as he previously opened up about losing his sister to suicide. Speaking about the tragic loss in 2017 at the Public Health England conference, he explained, I was so privileged and we had so much money and so much access and still couldn't do anything. I can't believe what it must be like for someone whose relatives aren't in that situation and they have nothing. It has been a busy week for Kate, who also spent Tuesday visiting the RHS Garden Wisley in Surrey for her Back to Nature Play Garden, and met with several families held at the festival grounds. Kate's new open space encourages children to play, explore, and engage with nature and was inspired by previous gardens she co-created with landscape architects Andrea Davies and Adam White. During her time at the gardens, she said, I am not as green-fingered as many of you here, but I was passionate about creating a garden that inspired children and adults alike to get back to nature and reap the positive mental and physical health benefits that it can bring. The experiences we gain during our earliest years influence who we become as people.